Professor Dave and Chegg here. We are now ready to draw organic molecules, but there is one very important concept that must be understood before we can excel with this, and that is resonance. We know the difference between sigma bonds and pi bonds, which involve direct orbital overlap and lateral orbital overlap, respectively. But there is another big difference between the way sigma electrons and pi electrons behave within a molecule, which is that the latter have the potential to be delocalized. Take this structure, which we call the acetate ion. We can see that one of the oxygens bears a formal negative charge. Let's quickly review why this is the case. Oxygen atoms have six valence electrons. However, in this Lewis dot structure, this oxygen atom is contributing seven electrons, one of the electrons in this covalent bond, and then three lone pairs. Seven is one more negatively charged electron than six, so it bears a formal negative charge. The other oxygen is contributing six, one from each of the two bonds and two lone pairs, so it is neutral. However, as we just mentioned, pi electrons, which are those that are found in pi bonds as well as lone pairs, can be delocalized. Let's demonstrate this by pushing some electrons around. Using an electron pushing arrow, we can depict electron flow by pushing one of these lone pairs down here to form a pi bond between oxygen and carbon. This would give carbon five bonds, which is impossible, as carbon is not capable of expanding its octet, but we can allow carbon to gain a bond if it also loses a bond at the same time. So let's draw another arrow going from this other pi bond up to this other oxygen atom, giving it a formal negative charge. So we formed a pi bond and neutralized this oxygen atom, and in order to ensure that carbon still has four bonds, we broke a pi bond to form this new oxyanion. These are the two resonance forms, or resonance structures, of the acetate ion, which in this case are absolutely identical structurally. Next, we must discuss the single most important thing to understand about resonance structures. Discrete resonance forms do not actually exist. The acetate ion does not look like one of these or the other, and it absolutely is not the case that it is flipping back and forth between them. Instead, it exists only in the form of its composite resonance structure, or resonance hybrid, which is obtained by combining all the possible resonance structures. One resonance structure has a negative charge here and a pi bond here, while the other resonance structure has those things reversed, so the composite resonance structure has partial pi electron density all along this portion of the molecule. We can represent that with this dashed line, and we can think of it almost like half of a pi bond in both positions, resulting in what can be thought of as half of a negative charge on each oxygen, although we typically will represent this as a delocalized negative charge listed up here. This is supported by numerous lines of evidence, like electron density maps and bond lengths, since the CO bonds are the same length, a length that is in between CO single bond and CO double bond lengths. This notion of composite resonance structures is absolutely critical to be aware of if we are going to be able to assess the reactivity of molecules, their acidity and basicity, their geometry, and countless other properties. So as strange as this seems, make sure to internalize this as best you can. Let's look at one more example. Here we have a pi bond adjacent to a carbocation, which means a carbon atom with a formal positive charge. In order to bear a positive charge, carbon must be contributing only three electrons to this Lewis dot structure, rather than its typical valence of four. This means it is making only three bonds, which will be important to be aware of, since all bonds to hydrogen are implied. We should also note that any carbocation with only three electron domains will be sp2 hybridized and trigonal planar. Now, as we said before, pi electrons can be delocalized if there is another configuration that will accommodate them. Well, this carbon can certainly accept another bond, which will neutralize the positive charge, so we can push this pi bond over one spot to do so. Of course, this will leave a new carbocation on this other carbon, so these resonance structures are of equal energy. In this case, they are also identical structurally, but if we made the molecule asymmetrical, they would be structurally different as well. 
Now, once again, remember that neither structure truly exists. Instead, we have to look at the composite, which will show partial pi electron density all along this portion of the molecule, and therefore a delocalized positive charge, which rather than placing a plus one half on each carbon, we can also just think of a positive charge that is associated with this region of the molecule. Resonance is a very important concept in organic chemistry, so let's spend a bit more time on resonance and resonance forms. Professor Dave for Chegg, see you next time.